Others down on their luck, one trying to pay child support for six children. It's bad. I wish they didn't have to go through it or me, because God knows I want to give them everything. Another barely getting by, trying to find a new job and create a better life for his family. I've been working a lot of dead-end jobs or jobs that really don't have no future, and I have a substantial amount of kids. It's a vicious cycle. Tonight, dads in Northeast Ohio trying to do the right thing. In our state, $4.4 billion in support is owed to children. Several counties are now turning to amnesty days as a way to collect some of that money and give deadbeat parents a fresh start. News Channel 5 reporter Bob Jones attended one of those events today. Bob joins us live from our Akron office. Now, Bob, how was the turnout? Well, Leanne, Stark County issued about 300 warrants for parents who have failed to pay child support. All of them were sent home letters that were told about a get-out-of-jail uh, free card. About 51 of them showed up today, including a young man who says he wants to do the right thing. DeAndre Williams showed up at Child Support Warrant Amnesty Day in Canton and learned he owes his kids a lot of money. About 19000 DeAndre started having kids when he was still a kid. At the age of 15, he now has six children from five different mothers. Now 24, he realizes he made poor life choices. I love all my kids, don't get me wrong. If I could have my kids in a different situation, maybe years down in life, it would have probably been better. A year ago, a warrant was issued for DeAndre for failing to pay child support. Today, he has a one-time chance to clear that warrant. No risk of going to jail. You want to do the right thing. You want to support your kids, though. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. He tells a case manager about his struggles, how his driver's license was taken away for being in arrears, a barrier to employment. I ended up losing a job because I didn't have license, and legally I wasn't supposed to be driving. Stark County alone is owed about $125 million in back child support. The amnesty program gets some of that money back while giving deadbeat parents some much-needed guidance. It's a fresh start, and it's a way to try to re-engage them back into the system and for us to be able to talk with the family court about their child support responsibility. In DeAndre's case, he was given access to an attorney and went before a magistrate, all inside Life Ministries Church. I am prepared to cancel your warrant today. His warrant cleared, to DeAndre is focused on getting his driver's license back. We can reinstate the license based on the letter that you're going to work for the company. And start meeting his obligations to his kids. If there's anything I can do to get it together, then I will. And the counties with the highest caseloads are the ones that are owed the most in back child support. Number one is Cuyahoga County, owed $835 million. Summit County is fifth in the state at $225 million. Live in the Summit County Newsroom, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.